Because Tennessee is known for alligators. Not not really. Not not at all. No, seriously, Tennessee is not known for alligators. It's known for sharks. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know where they get this stuff. story here in Pigeon Forge is the flood. I mean, look at this. We're staying in the hotel right across the river. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad here when it comes to the flood and it's still raining. anything to compare this to like any other video but just trust me it's up sharks or alligators in the state of Tennessee, in case you were wondering. I've been wrong before. This isn't the first time. I mean, this, this isn't a science channel. It's okay for me to be wrong about alligators in the state of Tennessee. I mean, who actually knew that? Okay, somebody did comment a few weeks ago about alligators in the Tennessee River, but I thought they were being funny or misinformed. So I was funny back. Sorry, you know who you are. Thanks for watching. But there are definitely no sharks in the state of Tennessee. But then the temperature plummeted and it got cold. I mean, it's sunny, but it got cold. You. She's reformed now. She's worked on her language. You ought to give her a restaurant a try here in Pigeon Forge. It's really, it's really good. Okay, I did find something that I really, really liked here, but it just so happens that today I have my financial advisor with me. It's this little, cute little button here that says, I'm getting ready for my butter every day or something like that. And it's hysterical, $4.99. So I'm going to ask my financial advisor if I should buy this. Absolutely not. Put it down.
Paula Dean Weight Loss Clinic and I'm really excited about trying to trim some fat here at Paula Dean's Weight Loss Clinic. I'm really excited. Have you ever been in a service in church that you looked at the people beside of you and church was over and the people wasn't leaving because it was so wonderful and just you were afraid to leave the presence of the Lord because it was so amazing. I tell you, I've experienced that this weekend here at Gatlinburg. I'm sitting here at the church of Paula Dean. I tell you, she has the best food I have ever tasted and I'm afraid to get up and leave because I don't want to leave the presence of Paula that is here. The food is phenomenal. If it was like a church, I'm gonna be honest with you, would it be too soon to join already today, you know, the first day? I'd want to join right now if I could. She's amazing. I looked at my wife a minute ago and said, hey, I think I'm gonna be a new Paula Knight. Wonderful, wonderful food. If you haven't ever been to Paula Deans, you need to go. God bless you. By the way, eating at Paula Deans is a treat. The food is amazing. It's hot. It's well, of course it's hot. I mean, it's food and you know, you're at a restaurant. Anyway, of course the food is amazing. It's Paula Deen. What do you expect? But if you come to Pigeon Forge, you really need to eat at Paula Deen's. It's one of the few restaurants that I've actually recommended lately. I think you'll love it. saying you've gained weight I'm just saying it's hard to get a selfie in here don't look at me that way I'm just saying it's hard to get a selfie smile it's not my fault I got short arms smile <laughs> come to Gatlinburg let's say a couple of times a year. Skylift Park here in Gatlinburg that takes you up the mountain. It's back open for business. Now it's been back open for business for some time but this is the first time Carol and I've been back to Gatlinburg where it's been back open for business. So that's good. It closed after the devastating forest fires back in I believe 2016. In fact my son Nathan and I made a video about the aftermath of those forest fires which you can watch by clicking right up here. This is definitely like a mixed fairy tale here. You got Frosty the Snowman kind of thing going on, but you've got like Ebenezer Scrooge Frosty here with Tiny Tim Frosty, something crazy. You know, Gatlinburg changes, it changes all the time. And if you're nostalgic, and I tend to be rather nostalgic, Gatlinburg is not the cozy small mountain town that it used to be. It's grown a lot. There are a lot of attractions here. There are a lot of things to do. Sure, it's still a lot of fun for a whole lot of people, but Carolyn and I do miss the old Gatlinburg. But I remember being a kid and the adults back when I was a kid back in the 80s, they were saying the same thing. They missed the old Gatlinburg that would have been back in like the 60s. And that's just how people are. That being said, if you did live in the 1980s, and let's say like Marty McFly, you could take a time machine into the future, this would be kind of different. I mean, you would it would be a little bit of a culture shock. I mean, even if you just look behind me right now, you really wouldn't recognize Gatlinburg.
But you know what, for a February, even if it is Valentine's Day, it's pretty crowded here tonight. And I mean, it's a Saturday night, but it's Valentine's. And you know what, all the shops are pretty full. The restaurants are pretty full. It looks like Gatlinburg is back in business. Not like it's ever been out of business, but I mean, things are happening in Gatlinburg. Things are happening in Pigeon Forge. Hey man, get to the Smoky Mountains and enjoy yourself a winter vacation before it's spring. Hey there, if you stayed until the end of this video, typically that means that you kind of liked our content at least a little bit. Listen, the only way that our channel can grow is when you share it on your favorite social media platform, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or any of those new platforms that all these crazy kids are using these days. Please share our content. Make sure that you click the like and subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life.